Hello students, welcome to Solar Cells classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the questions on geology from Jam 2017. Now, let us start with the first question. Here, the first question is, which of the following minerals exhibit luminescence when exposed to ultraviolet light? So, this luminescence or fluorescence Fluorescence. This is a phenomenon that causes minerals to glow. So they causes the minerals to glow within the visible spectrum. So the minerals glow within the visible spectrum. when they are exposed to ultraviolet lights now these minerals that have this property of fluorescence they actually have they actually contain particles in their structure known as activators so they contain activators which results in the glowing or the glowing of minerals within the visible spectrum when they are exposed to ultraviolet lights. Now, among the following, the correct answer is scalite because when scalites are exposed to short waves UV light, short wave UV light. So they glow in a bright sky blue color. So they glow in bright sky blue color. And occasionally when they are exposed to mid-wave UV, they glow in red color. So Ski light is the correct answer because when they are exposed to short waves UV light, they glow in bright sky blue color and when they are exposed to and occasionally red, occasionally red under mid wave UV. So, the correct answer of op question number 1 is option number D, scalite. Now, the next question is, which of the following mass extinction period trilobites become extinct? Now, the correct answer of this question is option number B, that is Permian. Now, even though in the late Devonian period, most of the trilobites died, but they disappeared in the mass extinction at the eight, at the end of Permian period, which is about 252 million years ago. 252 million years ago. So the correct answer of this question is option number B as even though in late Denovian period all trilobites except proteites so all uh, trilobites except proteites they died out but these trilobites they disappeared in the mass extinction at the end of permian era which ended to which was about 252 million years ago. So correct answer of option number B. Op question number 2 is option number B. That is Permian. That is the trilobites become extinct at Permian period. Now the next question is. N echelon sigmodial gash veins indicate which of the following. Now, this n echelon veins, they are useful shear sense indicator. They are useful shear 
sense indicators and they are formed in two stages so in stage one in first stage that is in stage one it is it what happens is the formation of brittle tension so in the first stage there is formation of brittle tension gashes which are oriented in approximately 45 degree from false trend so in the first stage of anaclone veins the formation of brittle tension gases which are oriented in 45 degree from the false trend and in the second stage and in the second stage sigmoidal shapes are formed due to rotation during ductile deformation within the shear zone so in stage 1 so this formation of brittle tensions are in the f so if this is the fault then these brittle tension gashes are formed like this where it is sigma 1 and sigma 3 where sigma 1 and sigma 3 are axes and in stage 2 the formation of sigmoidal shapes are formed due to rotational during ductile deformation within the shear zone so it is something like this again this is the fault so they are formed in the shapes like this where it is sigma 1 and this is sigma 3 axis so as we can see that anaclone veins they are formed in two stages and the correct answer of this question would be option number b that is brittle ductile shear zone so this anaclone sigmoidal gash veins they indicate brittle ductile shear zone